Hello everybody, what's up guys, um, Josh here, and uh, if you're watching this, I just want to tell you guys, um, I don't mean to offend any of you who use different brands than me, because it's just going to be a quick video on what brands I use for uh, drum equipment and such, so if you don't use the same brands, don't be offended, I treat all brands equally, it's just these are the ones I prefer, enjoy. Alright guys, so uh, some of these brands I use, um, actually really, I found on my own, you know, through trial and error, so I just kind of wanted to tell you that little heads up, and so, um, these are the reason I choose them, because they're the ones I like the best, but, uh, let's just start off. So as you guys can see, this is my Roland TV4 drum set, with, um, uh, with, with just all mesh pads, uh, pads with the T4 module which uh, has a really nice module, you know, go through different kits. It goes through the different kits. Um, you can record it. You can tune them. You can switch all the sounds. I really love it. Um, you know, a few downsides, like sometimes the, uh, the pedal thing doesn't stay up quite the right, so I had to Velcro it. Um, other than that, it's a really good kit, and I love it. It's about $2,000, so uh, it might be out of a price range for some of you guys. Um, but Roland does make some cheaper stuff. So I suggest Roland for electronic kits if you're looking for that. They are by far the best in the um, the best in the field. So uh, moving on to sticks, these are my uh, custom sticks. Not custom, but I call them custom sticks. Not like I'm endorsed, which uh, would be really great considering if you can see Vic Firth is by far my favorite brand um, of sticks. I use these uh, black. These black uh, 5B uh, American Hickory, just uh, classics with the wood teardrop tip. They're really great. And the reason I get them in black, not just, oh, they look cool, but also because, first of all, when I hit the, when I hit these, um, a lot of the things will happen with the white sticks or regular sticks, they'll get black marks everywhere. It's super annoying. With these, you don't really see them as much, although on the teardrop tips you do. But other than that, when you, you do it, you're, you're hitting and stuff, it's pretty good. Um, with uh, the black, but I also use normally when I'm playing on acoustic sets, which I which I do do. I normally use the white ones, and so they're also five Bs. I have a few pairs of these, pretty great. Um, so Vic Firth by far tops them all, but um, Vic Firth is by far my favorite. I really strongly suggest them. I got my little uh, Vic Firth bag here, and so uh, it's a really great ba bag for uh, some sticks I have. Also have another drumstick brand uh, bag, um, but drumsticks I love them and uh, Vic Firth, um, my favorite brand. So uh, yeah, let's go on. So uh, with headphones I normally use, I have about three different ones I use. One, some more than others, but normally for uh, playing in videos, I use these. Um, I don't even know what brand they're just a uh, generic earbuds. You know, to play, Oops. It, just to play with, you know, they're not so bulky. You know, they're pretty nice to uh, play around, and they're pretty, uh, you know, they're not like these huge things playing with. But, um, the, and they look pretty nice for video. Now, uh, also with videos, I might start using, are these, uh, just an, some other headphones. Flat wire, I really like them. Uh, they're almost like Beats, kind of, if you're real comfortable. And, um, again, I'm not a sure brand. You also have a pause button right there. I'm not trying to, like, you know, make these things, oh, look at these beautiful headphones. But, uh, they're pretty nice headphones. And I it'll, might start using them for videos. And then for rehearsals, in other words, practice, I will use normally these, uh, Sennheiser Studio, um, Studio HD 280 Pro 64, um, headphones. And these are about 100 bucks. So, uh, I have a few pairs of these. I'm not going to be like giving away. We just have a few recording studio up in our um, studio and all that. So I have some of these. They're really nice, but they kind of look dorky how big they are. You know, like right there. I don't really like the look at them for videos. But they're great for rehearsal. Like, I can barely hear myself talk right now. They're so, uh, they're so, um, bulky and huge. So, but these are awesome. Strongly suggest them. But once in a while, I'll see them in the videos. And so, uh, yeah, let's move on to camera equipment. Alright guys, so with the camera equipment, I, uh, Canon, that's um, all I can really say is Canon beats them all as far as just uh, cameras that I'm using right now. 
another camera that I use sometimes, and then this camera I use sometimes. Um, I'm not really like too worried about. I I like GoPros and all that. I mean, Canon. It's not like there's super big competitors. Um, you can use them both. Uh, but Canon by far beats them. I normally just use like this. The camera I'm using right now is actually not really a one like this. It's more of point and shoot. But normally I like using these cameras. Um, once in a while I'll use a Surface tablet to film the feet. Uh, it shoots in 720p HD. But uh, yeah, that's what I use for a camera. Canon, that's all I can say. So uh, if you're looking for a good camera brand you're starting out, I strongly suggest Canon. But all the other ones work pretty good too. Alright guys, moving on to heads. Like I said before, with um, the Roland TD4 drum set with the module, I use all mesh heads, and they are made by Remo. And so, uh, Remo by far beats them all. You know, there's Remo, Evans, Aquarian, Heart. There's a bunch of good brands, but I'm not trying to do some. I've played, um, I played on them. Evans is pretty good too, but Remo, they blew, it, they blew everybody out of the water. Because they make electronic heads, they make uh, snare drum heads, they make just drum set heads, they make bass drum heads, they make all kinds of stuff, and they uh, they sound phenomenal. Um, so I use this, and this is just a practice pad I have sometimes to uh, practice with, you know. Sounds pretty good. Um, sounds pretty good. Uh, but Remo by far beats them all, and I'm proud to use them. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And one thing I just want to tell you guys, leave comments down below. I will do, um, every couple Saturdays, I'll do a suggestion Saturday where I'll be putting up a cover video of a video, of a song, my bad, my bad, I can't speak today, of a song you guys requested. And so, I'll be uh, suggestion Saturday, you know, every like three Saturdays or so, maybe once a month. I haven't quite decided yet. Leave your suggestions. I promise I will get to them. I try to reply to every comment, and if I don't, I'm sorry. Please know that I do look at them, though. Sometimes I just don't have time to sign in and all that. But please know I look at them. I really appreciate you guys watching this, and I hope my channel just, so far it's exploded, you know, just in a few uh, days. It's gotten, like, up to 24 subscribers. That's insane. Like, I don't know how far this channel is going to go, but I'm really excited. And uh, I hope you guys keep watching my videos, drum covers. I'm, I started to do a sail cover using different angle shots. It didn't quite work out. I kind of messed up um, in the editing. But I'm going to try to start doing that. But for now, I'm just going to use the overhead shot, which actually I wanted to show you guys. I actually used this little th contraption I kind of made just from a tripod. Took off the legs. I tilted it this way. Have that. There's some nails in the wall. Well, hooks in the wall to hang us on. Tilt it this way and the camera, that's how I get the angle above that because it is a wall right behind me. So that's how I do that. It's just like, you guys can see that angle, but it's just higher, just like that. And so uh, that's what I use for that. Um, but for now, I'm going to be just using that, but hopefully I can get different angles. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments. I don't want to make this so boring. Leave them in the comments. Subscribe, you know. But I really want to actually tell you guys, I really appreciate you guys subscribing, watching my videos, and uh, I hope you guys just... If you're a drummer, keep drumming. Send me videos if you want. Email is drummerjosh7 at yahoo.com. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later.